Hey guys, the NASCAR Cup Series was at Richmond Raceway this weekend, the second race of the first round of the playoffs, the second race of the round of 16. Yes, they are short track racing, and Martin Truex Jr. wins back-to-back -back races. He wins both playoff races so far this year. He was sad last week at Las Vegas about the death of Mike Stefanik, who died in a plane crash, and now he goes back-to-back. -back. But before I go through all of the results, I have to talk about a little bit of news that was announced earlier this week, and that is that Bailey Curry is reinstated after completing the Road to Recovery program after about a month suspension after being suspended because he violated NASCAR's substance abuse policy, so it's good to see Bailey Curry back, and he will be back in the car sooner rather than later, and uh, he has raced all three series trucks, Xfinity and Cup, this year, and also uh, there are rumors reported by Adam Stern that that Ryan Priest, the rookie this year in Cup, may not be in that JTG Doherty number 47 car next year, but who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, that's just reports. is not anything confirmed. Kind of rumors. Okay, so now let's go through the results. So Martin Truex Jr. wins. He goes back to back. He wins both playoff races so far this year. The only driver to win a playoff race this year because there's only been two of them. He won the first stage. He even got spun by Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the race because Ricky Stenhouse Jr. just had those fresh tires and that was a that's a problem with, you know, tires. He slid them and got into Truex, so unfortunate for Truex, but he battled back to win. Kyle Busch won the second stage, uh, led the most laps, and he was leading there at the end, but Truex passed him, and Kyle made a little bit of contact with him, but that's just racing. Denny Hamlin gets third, a really solid top five finish for him today, and uh, yeah, that's where, about where he ran all day, and well, Brad Keselowski gets fourth, the pole sitter. He won the pole, but who actually crossed the finish line fourth today, was Eric Jones. Eric Jones, really unfortunate, especially for his playoff situation, failed post-race inspection. Eric Jones crossed the finish line fourth, which would make it a 1-2-3-4 finish for Joe Gibbs Racing, the first in history for Joe Gibbs Racing, but instead it's a 1-2-3. Uh, that's unfortunate. Terrible for his playoff situation. He was only minus three from the cut line after this race with all the stage points, but now after failing inspection, they put him into last place. Now he's 44 points below the cut line uh, to advance to the next round of the playoffs. That's a ba that's basically a must win. It is a must win. That's really unfortunate for Eric Jones. I feel so bad for Eric Jones, and um, yeah. Uh, we'll see what he could do with the Roval next week. So Brad Keselowski gets fourth. The pole sitter had a pretty solid day go in top five. Ryan Newman finishes fifth. He's above the cut line now. What an amazing run by Ryan Newman. Got some stage points even. Uh, Ryan, that he, he, he hasn't been doing that this year, getting stage points, but he really impressed in the top 10, even in the top five for most of the race and finishes fifth. That is super impressive by Ryan Newman. Really impressive. I thought he could win this race. Um, yeah, he's just moving his way through the playoffs, and he's going to advance probably. So Kyle Larson gets six. Kyle Larson kind of was around 10th all day, just a quiet day, you know, a good day. That's how you're going to advance in these playoffs, and so far he is in position to do that. Kevin Harvick gets seventh. Kevin Harvick had a better day than seventh, I feel like. Uh, he was around fifth, um, but yeah, I mean, seventh, not too bad of a day. Top 10. Clint Boyer still outside of the playoff cut line. He's eighth. Not too bad there. Uh, top 10 finish. He thought he would do better. I thought he would do better, but um, yeah, solid, I guess. He kind of struggled at the beginning, but he battled back up to get eighth here. Daniel Suarez gets ninth. Suarez, uh, Suarez had a quiet day, but I mean, another Stuart Haas car. There's Harvick, Boyer, Suarez right there, and he gets a top 10. Didn't make the playoffs, but still a good day by Suarez at Richmond. Denny, er, Jim, Jimmy Johnson gets 10th, a solid day for Jimmy Johnson, top 10, after not making the playoffs as well. Joey Logano gets 11th. Joey Logano kind of struggled pretty much all day today. Um, yeah, it was all day. Uh, he didn't have a good day, but I mean, he managed to get 11th, so that's not the worst it could be. Uh, Bubba Wallace uh, gets 12th. Bubba Wall this is huge steps in improvement for Richard Petty Motorsports, especially after that third place in Indianapolis. They have really... Uh, 
bumped up their program. They have been doing a great job so far. So really happy for Bubba Wallace to get this top 12, top 15 finish. And uh, yeah, he even passed um, he even passed Chase Elliott there at the end. Stayed on the lead lap for this race at the end. Uh, held off Martin Truex Jr. for that. That that's great. Bubba Wallace, I'm really happy for him and Richard Petty Motorsports, and this should help them with their sponsorship issues as well. Chase Elliott gets 13th. He started third in the top five, hung around seventh, eighth all day, top 10, got into the top five a little at the beginning, uh, and then dropped and got to 13th. Not too bad. He's still safe in the playoffs, plus like 36 or something, I think. Uh, Matt Benedetto, 14th, not surprising him, having a really solid, great uh, top 15 finish for that Levine team. Super happy he's going to the Wood Brothers 21 next year since Menard's retiring. So, Goodbye, Matt to Benedetto to have that top 15. He even got seventh in the first stage, so got into the top 10 and some stage points. Um, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets 15. That's a good day, especially Roush Fenway really stepped up their game for this race. Ryan Newman finishing fifth, his teammate Stenhouse finishing 15th. Stenhouse was even in the top 10 for a while in this race, while Newman was in the top five. And Stenhouse... Got fresh tires, was passing people, just carried too much steam, slid the front tires, and got into the leader at the time, Martin Truex Jr., caused a caution. Martin Truex Jr., obviously not happy about that, uh, but Martin Truex Jr. battled back to win, so uh, that's great by Martin Truex Jr. Uh... Eric Almarola gets 16th, uh, still above the cut line for the next round to advance in the playoffs, but not really a great day. Ryan Blaney beat his best finish at Richmond. His best finish before this race was 18th. He gets 17th. Yeah, he's really bad at Richmond, but uh, yeah, made a record for himself today, so that's good. Uh, Kurt Busch, 18th, was not good all day long, unfortunately. Uh, he he's, he's in a bad position in the playoffs. David Reagan gets 19th. <clears throat> Matt Tift gets 20th. Michael McDowell gets 21st. Austin Dillon gets 22nd. He had... Uh, he got damage with Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman carried too much steam into the corner, caused damage on himself, Dylan and William Byron, which ended up cu- cutting uh, Byron's tire down, and uh, Dylan was not happy and spun Alex Bowman later. Uh, Alex Bowman gets 23rd, William Byron, he got his tire cut down. Um, he's still above the cut line somehow, uh, Bowman's not, so yeah. Daniel Hemmer gets 25th, Ty Dillon gets 26th, Paul Menard gets 27th, Landon Castle gets 28th, <coughs> excuse me, Corey LaJoy gets 29th, uh, Ryan Priest gets 30th, uh, Chris Busher gets 31st, Austin Terrio gets 32nd, JJ Ailey gets 33rd, Spencer Boyd gets 34th, Quinn Hauf gets 35th, Ross Chastain 36th, Reed Sorensen, he hit the wall, and Eric Jones last. So, Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Martin Truex Jr., only a second short track win in his career, and they both coming this year at Richmond. Sweeps the Richmond races for this year. Bye-bye, guys.